everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CIGTV News Brief on this Wednesday. None other than Loretta Mack. Loretta Mack is the 2021 Deputy Governor's Employee of the Year recipient. Mack is Employee of the Month for February of last year and is a strategic HR officer in the portfolio of the civil service. Loretta is described by Deputy Governor Franz Madison as a dedicated, reliable, responsible, and highly driven civil servant who is always willing to help her clients and colleagues. Ms. Mack is said to offer meaningful HR support to the portfolio, contributing to a world-class civil service. To Ms. Gloria, the absolute best chief officer we could ever ask for. Thank you for choosing me to receive the Chief Officer Choice Award for 2021. Family, friends, and colleagues attended the event in support of the nine women and three men from various government departments on Tuesday night. Now, the nominees were awarded for their outstanding work as an employee of the month back in 2021. If you missed it, the DG's award ceremony, uh, you can go online to the Cayman Islands government's YouTube page. We say a huge congratulations to Loretta Mack and the 11 other employees of the month. Well, a Cayman Islands Constitution comic book has been launched to provide a new resource for our youth and educators. Uh, about the Cayman Islands Constitution. The comic book represents, or presents rather, the important information that is contained in the Cayman Islands Constitution in an accessible and engaging fashion. The comic book encompasses the nine parts of the 2009 Constitution with updated information in relation to the recent amendments, all of which are accompanied by quiz sections designed to ensure that information is learned and retained. Now, the first official copy of the Cayman Islands Constitution comic book was presented by the Constitutional Commission to Dr. Steve McPhee, uh, chairman of the Constitutional Commission. Vaughn Carter explained the background to this presentation, saying, quote, it goes without saying that Dr. McPhee has always taken a keen interest in the constitutional history of the Cayman Islands and that he is well known as one of the jurisdiction's greatest advocates for constitutional education and a better understanding of how our government operates. We're told Dr. McPhee was delighted to receive the first official copy of the comic book and upon receipt shared his unique perspectives on why constitutional education is so critical, especially for the younger generation. All right, let's have a look now at tonight's forecast, which calls for partly cloudy skies with a 40% chance of showers and possible thunder. Seas will be rough with wave heights of four to six feet. Small craft operators should exercise caution over the open water. Now, the two-day outlook is for a gradual decrease in cloudiness and showers through Thursday morning with partly cloudy skies, moderate winds, and slight seas that are expected after. Now for the synopsis, which calls for moderate easterly winds and rough seas, which will continue across the Cayman Islands area for the next 24 hours as Tropical Storm Lisa moves near Belize City. The Cayman Islands National Weather Service will continue to monitor the progress of Hurricane Lisa. Meantime, Tropical Storm Martin poses no threat to the Cayman Islands. As always, for information on local weather conditions, you can go online to the Cayman Islands Weather Service's Facebook page or their website, weather.gov.com. Why? And that's it for today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush wishing you a safe and wonderful night.